everyone and welcome back to another episode of Mesozoic Metropolis in Jurassic World Evolution. I am driving down the highway right now on my way to the suburbs, which is what we will be building in this episode. To our right, I have no idea yet what's going to go there. There are a lot of ideas coming in though, so I'll have to make a selection of those at some point. We're crossing the bridge right now. Here we go. And slide. Okay, so this is where the suburbs are going to be across from the park we have the uh, the stadium up there also i've decided to make the baseball team that plays there um the spinos because <laughs> i wanted to use i wanted to use these signs i want i wanted to use those so oh i'm gonna crash there there you go so the the this is the the home stadium for the spinos baseball team it makes zero sense Maybe it would have maybe it would have made more sense if I'd used like a stegosaurid uh, sign. Now that I actually actually think about, it. like I wanted to use the big ones, but we have yeah stegosaur. Maybe that maybe that would have made more sense. Come to think of it, so I might change that. Uh, let me know in the comments if you agree. So should should the baseball team be the spinos or the stegos? Maybe it should be the stegos. The more I think about it, the more I like that. Because, you know, the way it swings its stagomizer is kind of like... Um, a bit <laughs> Like a baseball player getting ready to swing the bat. So, hmm, I don't know. I don't know. Decisions have to be made. Let me know in a comment down below. And, of course, let me know in a comment uh, what more dinosaurs you want to add to this park. Now, stegos and spinos are already in. Uh, I'm going to start over here. On Troodons, Compies, uh, I'm gonna do Homelocephaly, you know, a lot of fun small dinosaurs that have been requested since the very start of this series, so I am going to make a lot of those. I suppose I can just get started with a lot of Compies, so I'll I'll fill up the hatchery with those. Uh, let me just get rid of our sketch, there you go. Also, you can see that I uh, worked on the parking lot, now I had to get creative with filling in this last little bit. Uh, because the path started to clip. If I, wanted, if I wanted to add more parking spaces over here, the path was clipping. So I, f I just filled it in with palm trees. I had to think on the fly. <laughs> the compies are already ready. So let's just release a couple of compies before we get started on our suburbs. Here we go. Here comes the little dude. Or little gal. He's... <laughs> He's absolutely disappearing, but trust me, there's a dinosaur there. Oh, look at this little thing. Oh, you're in for a world of stress. <laughs> you're gonna be very, very stressed. Now, this is a really big area of the uh, of the map, but it has to be... You know, we need to have a lot of buildings um, to really sell that, that, that it is a city. I keep saying that. You know what? I'm not displeased. Uh, all right, so suburbs, yeah. Uh, for, let's just check first what kind of buildings I'm going to use as houses. I think I'm going to use the restaurant as houses and the clove shop as houses. Maybe the bar as well. Uh, they look very similar in color scheme. One's a little bit bigger than the other. Just imagine, <laughs> just imagine that you have... A Spinosaurus skull. Oh, how do I turn? How do I turn? There you go. Just imagine you have a Spinosaurus skull at the end of your driveway. Cause sure, sure, that's something people have. Where are my trucks? Oh, there are my trucks. Someone's gonna have like a highway in their backyard, but that's that's okay. I'm sure they don't mind. Uh, we can have pretty tight corners because obviously the speed is going to be down over here. Now, where would the... Uh, we're gonna have to be dealing with the notification from now on because I need to delete this so I can work, 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 work. Let me just figure out a layout of the streets. I feel like that's just a lot of fiddling and twiddling and um, deleting a lot of paths that I just laid down. So I'm just gonna play around with how I want it to be laid out. And then I'll bring you back in. I'll cut out all of the boring stuff. Well, not all of the boring stuff. You come for a little bit of the boring stuff. That's like 50% of my channel. So I'm going to cut out some of the boring stuff and then I'll bring you back in for, you know, placing the houses, making the backyards and that sort of stuff. But I need to, I need to focus. Okay, the compies cannot survive with the other carnivores, so they are going to get their own little enclosure. We'll reclaim some of the ocean for them. 
because uh, it's 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 not working out for them. They they hate it. They hate it. They uh, <laughs> they get way too panicked to eat. So here yeah, I'm gonna there and this is where the compies shall be moved into. It'll take a while to trank all of them. But it has to be done. Oh boy. Okay, so any icon that just looks like it doesn't have anything attached to it, that's a copy. <laughs> so that's what I have to be on the lookout for. There you go. There are two over here. Oh, they're gonna be... Oh, yeah, I got him. There you go. Now, for the sidewalks, I really wish I could have used um, the fancy path. But fancy path is it's just too thick. Like the, the Jurassic World paths are way thicker than the Jurassic Park paths, which means I cannot use them. I mean I could, but I Asset really don't accepted. want to. Yeah, so the compies are a real pain in my ass because the compies won't eat while they're in the pen, so they have to be flown into their separate pen. But then the constant uh, helicopter moving around either to tranquilize them or to transport them is freaking out all of the other dinosaurs, which means all of the other dinosaurs are too panicked to eat. And yeah, it was a bit of a chain reaction there, but <laughs> I managed. Uh, and I can continue building now, but yeah, compies... Oh boy, and it's just going to repeat itself with the uh, with the drawdown. But I just have to be mindful and keep assigning uh, the rangers to uh, to heal. Well, uh, everyone's getting all freaked out about the helicopters. Yeah, see, there the helicopters are flying, and more dinosaurs are starving themselves. <laughs> oh my god, it's so annoying. Okay, there you go. So that's sort of the layout that I am going with. I'm gonna connect this to that. Probably just use this path. Because that's just the chosen path for uh, for sidewalks. So yeah, we have the roads, we have the sidewalks. Now let's get down to business. To build the suburbs. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just start... We'll just pretend that their backyards are much bigger. These guys are not gonna have much of a backyard like this. Like this area really, it should have been much bigger. I thought it was quite big to begin with, but it's not big enough. That's unfortunate. Flipping terrain constraints. I saw you, I saw you, don't lie. These are, these, let's just say these are little bungalows. <laughs> People are gonna be living in bathrooms. That's kind of sad. Oh, I think I need to assign some rangers again. Maybe this is kind of cute as a house. No, we use this as a farm. Let's not do that. But the, this one can work as a house as well. Um, yeah, but from these I'm sticking to, to these three. Now the reason I'm not using any of these or this one specifically, this is this is pretty much the only building I have as like our Hollywood type of house, so I have to reserve that for that section of the city. Here, these people have a long driveway. I really don't want to release these. I really don't want to. Oh my god, what have I got myself into? I need to release some homilocephaly to feel some happiness in my life once more. Because, oh my god, these things. Oh, we can have dry sores as well. These will make me happy. We'll do all of the colors. I need some, I need an injection of happiness and, well, say no to drugs. Use dinosaurs. Yeah, the velociraptors are really struggling in here as well. I feel like whatever big carnivore, because I, I already built like an extra pen over here. Because the Velociraptors are struggling, but they're way too much work to all tranquilize and move over. Although maybe I have to do that. Oh my god, this is so... This is not what I expected. Let... I'm gonna be completely honest. I did not expect them to be this annoying. Oh nice, he does register that. That's good. 
Just imagine this is your house and random people are coming in to shit in your house. <laughs> That's, uh, wait, what? Oh, it's a Velociraptor. I thought, wait, <laughs> is a T-Rex panicking? What, what do you got to panic about? Caught your reflection, did you? Well, and then these uh, big old concrete slabs will just be our white picket fencing. Honestly, I wouldn't mind having a backyard that small, but that's probably just me. Now, who's gonna get a pool? Who has room for a pool? Not many people. I feel... No, probably terrain constraints over here. We'll give it an honest go, though. But I feel like very few people... Oh, here you go. You can, ha you can have a pool. Wait! Wh eh? Look at this! Oh, that was weird. That was weird. That was so weird. Oh my god. It, it was like, oh wait, no, I can't do that. It, it was like the game remembered. Wait, I have certain limitations. Wait! <laughs> there. What a beautiful pool. <laughs> oh, stuff is starving themselves again. God, they are so annoying. Why can't you turn off panicking in sandbox? Why is that not a thing? Dead! No! Let me guess. One of the velociraptors. Yeah, there you go. <sighs> I'll release a trial. Make me happy, please. Make me happy with your cuteness. They are really cute. Let's watch it again. Why are you always in the shadow side? Cute little bugger. And I'll make a couple of these dudes. What a hot mess. <laughs> there. Okay, okay, you know what? With the tree- the trees really helped. You know, Brachiosaurus, maybe you're onto something. Trees do make things better. Look at that, you were right. Uh, let's put some palm trees over. Like, these are some honest-to-god fancy people right here. They- they've imported palm trees. Oh, you know, might be kind of cute if someone has, like, a little shed in their backyard. Let's see if I have some space for that. And by shed, I mean outhouse, obviously. <laughs> oh, it's so annoying. Oh my god. You know what? I don't hate it. I hate this. I hate I hate that. But I don't hate how the suburbs turned out. Okay, wait. Who was it? What if the herbivores? You poor thing. Stego! Oh, you poor thing. I'll shoot you up with some drugs. Here, we'll just get it. we'll just get a head start on all of these guys. And let's release a homo assembly. No. All right, and with that cuteness, I am going to end the episode. Uh, yeah. So. There you go, suburbs. It doesn't look too awful. Oh, thank God. Oh, that feels so good. Yes, please don't come back. <laughs> All right, so yeah, this is what we've done for this episode. Uh, not too many dinosaurs. I feel like uh, only two building episodes left, you know, one for the mall and the Hollywood homes, and then one final episode to fill in this empty space and like add some, some more details all over the place. So if you have more suggestions for like maybe something to add to the airport or something to add to the zoo, whatever, leave those in a comment down below so I can, uh, I can incorporate that in the final episodes. And of course, leave your suggestions for the final dinosaurs. I will be releasing these extra five compies, even though it's giving me a headache already, but I will do it. I'll fly them all over. Things will start freaking out again, but I'll work with it. I'm so sad that one of the... Here, we should have, we should have a tombstone for the Velociraptor that we lost. You poor thing. Oh my god, may he rest in peace. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> let's, let's not do that again. All right. For now, thank you so much for watching, and until next time... Enjoy the game.